Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm um, picking up on somebody's energy here that's very excited, um, coming towards you, wanting a new beginning, wanting to commit. This person may even be bringing like um, an engagement ring, okay? Um, and you're in the process of moving on. All right. Anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you um, to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. Welcome. All right. So I'm also seeing that this person may want to heal things with you. You know, definitely. Um, they definitely want to heal things with you. But I feel like they've done too much. This could have been somebody who has cheated on you, put you in third parties in the past, maybe not once, but twice. Um, this is somebody who come, they may come in, it's going to feel like love bombing, all right? But they do want, um, they want this with you. And I feel like they're coming to your house as well. This person could drive a gold, yellow, or red car. Yeah, they want to choose a new path with you. They may have to travel a distance to get to you as well. Um, so you could live in another town, another state maybe. They've been watching you or they're, um, they may be even walking around your neighborhood, driving through your neighborhood, maybe waiting until you get home. This person may already know that you're not home. They could have even already come to your house one day when other people were there, but you weren't there. Okay, that's a confirmation for someone. This person is about to show up at your door. They want this passionate new beginning with you. Okay. Um, they may, if you've recently moved, because you could have recently purchased a new home or gotten a brand new apartment, okay, somewhere else, this person could be trying to find you and getting lost. <laughs> I feel like if you've moved to a new location, they got lost, okay? Um, so, because this, I can see as somebody may be asking for directions, not knowing what road you live on, maybe. You could have spent up to like maybe three years in separation or longer. Yeah, they're, you're about to get this communication from this person. Okay, they may even be reaching out to you like um, text messages, phone calls. Because this, I, and I feel like every time they're, if they're, if they're showing up at your house and they know where it is that you live and they're driving around your address or your um, street, your um you know, watching your home, I wanted to say address, um, then it, you may know this already and you may be just kind of like staying out a little bit longer, maybe working a little bit more, um, wanting to not be home as much. You're trying to avoid communication with this person, but they really want this new beginning, okay? Yeah, see, two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you don't want to talk to them. You're trying to avoid communication with them. You've already cut this cord, okay? Um, you could have recently done a cord cutting. Kind of feeling like this person is a little bit panicky. Clarify this three of cups. Yep, and here's the thing. You could just be focused on um, your abundance, right? Things that are coming in for you now. Your blessings are coming in. This could be a time of celebration for you. There may have been um, possibly recently a, um, an event, right? An event, a party, a get-together, and this person may have um, wanted to see you there, and they didn't. So maybe that's what's got them panicking a little because they wanted to talk to you there. I feel like they were they were hoping you would show up at some kind of party, event, something. It seems like it feels like it's something outdoors, okay, but you didn't show up. Yeah, see, I'm just getting the sense that you're cutting this person off. You, you, you're... You're not wanting to talk to them. You could be a Leo. You could be a Gemini, Libra. 
maybe Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, maybe Gemini, Libra. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. This person is getting very emotional. I'm telling you, it's it feels like they're very antsy. They're very um, uh, panicky, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you out of their mind. They may be um, driving around your neighborhood, um, kind of hoping that they don't see you with someone else. Like this person, they may be thinking that you've already met somebody new. And that could be making them extremely emotional. I, I just feel like I just heard, why won't you talk to me? I don't know where that is from, but that's what I heard. So that's what's making this person emotional as well, is that you're not talking to them. And I don't think you want to talk to them. I think they've already tried to send you some text messages, some phone calls, and you're not speaking to them. Like, mm -mm. you may have even recently blocked this person because I just heard unblock me. So I, you know, I feel like they just, they're trying to find a way back in collective. Um, yeah, they see you as the one. This person cannot stop thinking about you. You may have children with this person. If this is the father or mother of your children, they miss the children. They miss you. They want their family back. Okay. They're, um, they're seeing that you can handle everything on your own as well. You don't need them. In Queen of Pentacles energy, too, you're a really hard worker. You may work really long hours. You're, you're able to take care of everything on your own. You're very grounded, very stable. You're not in your emotions over this person. You're thinking logically for yourself. I feel like there's, there's lots of reasons why you don't want this person back. They've cheated on you or put you in third parties. They've... Um, They've be betrayed you in the past. Hold on, I need to pause this. Sorry about that. I had to say goodbye to my daughter. Okay, so yeah, now they want to work on things with you. Now they want to, I feel like maybe in the past, especially if you lived with this person in the past, you kind of did everything for them. You know, I feel like you, you know, you cooked, you cleaned, you did the laundry. Um, you really... Uh, you really did everything for this person. Now they now they want to start doing for you as well. This I'm I'm seeing as wanting to put in the work, okay? Wanting to make some kind of effort. But um I feel like it may be too late. This person is also I I I'm getting that they're worried you're forgetting all about them. Okay? They're worried that you're forgetting them. And um, yeah, they just want to come in love bombing you. It's going to feel like love bombing, but it's, it actually is going to be more like begging for your forgiveness, begging for another chance, coming in and, and possibly bringing you an engagement ring, wanting to commit. Um, they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to forget about them. They want to be, if you have children, they want to be part of the children's life. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Virgo. And you have your boundaries up. You do not want this person back. They could be a heavy drinker. That could be part of the reason why you don't want them back. Okay? Um, they could hang out at the bar a lot. This could have been somebody who... Um, maybe trash talked you behind your back, was bragging about how you were hurting before. Okay. I'm also seeing this as you being their wish. Like they just want you back. They want their family back. They want their ten of cups back. Like you made a beautiful home for this person if you lived with them. You kept it really nice. You could be kind of a clean freak. Okay, is what I'm getting. Like you, everything in its place, right? A place for everything and everything in its place, right? 
you could even maybe have a little bit of OCD because you keep such a tight home. You know what I'm saying? Like your home may be spotless and um, you're just on top of everything. Do you see what I mean? And so this person misses that. They want, they want the family back. They want a home life with you. They want a commitment with you. They can't take it anymore, okay? They can't take it anymore. And if this person can't get you back, they're going to be absolutely heartbroken. But I feel like that's where this person left you maybe a couple of times is heartbroken and feeling betrayed. I feel like too much has been done to you in this connection. And um, you're in a time of your life where blessings are rolling in for you now. You could be very financially stable or independent, right? You could own your own business and doing really well with it. Like fortune is rolling in, money is rolling in. It's a time for you to celebrate right now. And this, so you're celebrating and this person is carrying, they're, they're carrying the 10 of wands, right? Um, sitting in a lot of burdens and heartache. But yeah, I feel like too, they could be numbing, doing a lot of heavy drinking maybe more than before, they want to heal this with you. You're their wish. You could be um, in the spotlight somehow or um, just becoming extremely successful. You could also be an intuitive, an empath. They also see you as their healer. And I feel like you're, you know, you're pouring the water here. This person they don't want you to forget about them. They want you to be hurting over them the way they're hurting over you. But they see you as a healer, somebody who could make them instantly feel better. All right. I feel like you have that um, you have that ability to heal other people. They're wishing for you. I feel like if you have any kind of um, Internet platform they're watching you on it okay so it could be social media they may even find out that you could be um dating online okay like joined an online dating scene or something that's got them very burdened that's got them feeling really worried see it's like it's panicky energy yeah because you're moving on you're moving on you're reaching a level that they can't attain, okay? And this person, I feel like they're worried you're going to forget about them. They're, they're in this ten of swords carrying all these burdens. And they want you to feel the same way about them, okay? But you don't. You're, right now, you're busy. You, um, and you work really hard at whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, you've got blessings coming in, other opportunities around you, a lot of money coming into your life. You know, you could, if you have any kind of internet platform, you're, you're reaching people around the world, you're very balanced. See, what I'm seeing is this balance in your emotions, walking in confidence, filling your life with other things. I'm seeing this, you thinking logically, okay, not wanting to think about this person not wanting to talk to this person they're worried that you're forgetting them I'm telling you and you probably are i don't i think with everything in your life that you have going on um you're not spending a whole lot of time thinking about this person anymore you are over this person you've healed yourself You've got your emotions balanced out. Um, you're very grounded and stable in your emotions. So, yeah, you're over them. And they're feeling heartbroken over this. Yeah, this was on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords energy. Uh, I'm... Ooh. Um, I'm getting the sense that 
I feel like this is your energy. This person wants to approach you. Somebody wants to approach the Empress, okay? Um, but you've been betrayed by this person. You know, you're standing your ground here. I feel like you're drawing boundary lines. Like, don't come around me. It's just giving me that protective bubble of energy around you because you don't want to be betrayed again. You've already gotten over this heartache. See, this person backstabbed you with that sword, okay, for loving them and taking care of everything for them. And, and then, uh, you know, you had to heal on your own. You had to pull that sword out of your own back and heal from it on your own. Where were they when you were building yourself back up? And now that you've built yourself back up and you've healed from them, now they want to come back in. I feel like you've got a lot to protect here. Look at all this money. This is money, success. You've got nine pentacles just for you. The most you can have in the deck is ten. Yeah, you're ready for love, but it's got to be with the right person who's going to treat you the right way. And this person from your past, they've already proven to you that they'll put you in third parties and betray you. Okay, they, I feel like you've given this person a couple different chances in the past. Now they want a third chance. Okay, but this time they know they have to go big or go home. And that's why I feel like um, they may come in with, you know, a lot of love bombing and maybe um, a ring, a proposal. But I feel like they're very immature. This is a page. This person's in page energy. And I feel like that's how they've approached you before, like Mr. Fun Boy or Fun Girl. Take it how it resonates, right? Um, you know, schmoozing you, saying things that you want to hear. This person's a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with this person, and they're very charismatic, I feel. But... This person's never, ever flipping serious, and that's what they've shown you. This person has made a really bad reputation for themselves when it comes to you, okay? Because they keep playing you, or they keep cheating, or they keep running around chasing after other people. You know, you don't want any more third parties. You don't want to be betrayed anymore. You've healed on your own from that, and you have a lot to protect, I feel like this person can't come back in. Your life has actually gotten better since you've been away from them. I feel like you've got too much, like a lot of other things going on. I don't want to say it's too much. These are all blessings. But you've got a lot of other things coming, uh, coming into your life that you're focused on. Yeah, and you're going to be thinking to yourself, this person just wants my money. They just want a handout. They just want me to continue to take care of them, right? This person knows it. They're in a lot of regret. Yeah, yep. They're in a lot of regret. They don't think they're going to be able to get back in. And quite frankly, I don't think they can either. Uh, I mean, you're, you, you're drawing boundary lines all over this reading, okay? You know, you're actually rejecting this person energetically before, they, before you even talk to them. Um, and they can feel that. They're in a lot of regret. This is a lot of remorse, regret, sadness, crying, okay? I feel like this person played you possibly three times, chose someone else over you. You know, cheated on you uh, at least, I feel like it's at least twice. It could have been three times. And you're just not dealing with it anymore. You're not. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could possibly be a, a Sagittarius, maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, you're ace of swordsing them. You're like, that's it. I'm done. And if this person knows when they when they come in to approach you, they're gonna they're gonna have to face your sword, the one that they stuck in your back. 
You know, this person is reminding themselves every day of what they lost, what they lost you. Yeah, a tower moment. I don't think this person can get you back. They're going to try, though. This person's already, like, either traveling to your area or already lurking around your area, okay? Um, waiting for the right time and the right opportunity to come in and love bomb and beg for your forgiveness, okay? But, yeah, no, you don't want this person back. All right, so what else can you show me? Yeah, but they're in love with you. They're in love with you, and they can't get over you. And this is, it's making them, it's making them fall into a deep depression. This is all that numbing as well. So this person's doing a lot of heavy drinking over you, okay? Feeling like a vulnerable mess crying like crazy okay knowing that this is over i feel like this all of these roses to me that represents bereavement like this is coming to an end and they can't stand it okay i feel like this person cries at weird times of the day they can just like burst out into tears at any time because they're crying here here very vulnerable, on the verge of crying all day long because you're already happy without this person. Yeah, see, and I feel like they think that you're going to forget them. If they can't get you to interact with them, talk to them, anything, you're going to forget about this person and move on. Yes, you are. You're, you're already trying to do that, especially if you moved away. That should be a big hint to this person. Yeah, you're free. You're free. Look, they they're they they have to let you go. I feel like um they had you at one point. They let you go focusing on other people, treated you like an option. This person wants you back, but they don't think they can get you back and you're being elevated to a whole new level that's unreachable for this person. They they um they can't get you to communicate with them. They, they are worried that you're going to move on and forget about them, which you are, which you are right here. You're enthousi enthusiastic for other things. Bigger and better things are happening for you. Okay, this is a time in your life where you're celebrating. You're not depressed and sad over this person, and they want you to feel the same way about them that they feel about you. And they want you to be in love. They want you to be depressed. They want you to feel vulnerable. They want you to be crying over them. But you're not. You're not. Because you've got bigger and better things going on. Okay? And that's why they feel stuck. That's why they feel stuck. And I feel like, um, yeah, you're going to move on and forget about this person. That's their biggest fear. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening here. You know? They can't stop longing for you. So this person, I feel like they're going to be longing for you for the rest of their life. They're going to be feeling like this in a whole lot of regret, crying all the time, in love with you. They're not going to be able to heal from this without their healer. Okay? But you've healed from this. You've healed, Collective. And, um, yeah, you're getting ready and excited for new things. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.